Hello, class. Uh, this would be the recorded lecture uh, in our book. It's section 3.5. And so we're going back and we're going to do the laws of signs. And then the next section will be laws of cosines. So uh, I kind of like to split it up this way because what we just finished in chapter four, quite challenging. And the idea of the creativity of trying to do these proofs, especially, uh, becomes a challenge. In this case, we're going to introduce you some, to some new trig formulas, and this is more of, I lost a better way of putting it, a plug and chug uh, calculation, where you're going to be giving a triangle, and you're going to calculate the values of all the three angles and all three sides. So let's get started here. So uh, there are uh, a couple of cases where the laws of sine work, and then there's a couple of cases where the laws of cosine work. <laughs> and so we're going to start with signs. And the first case is this idea where you have two angles of a triangle and uh, the length of one side. So uh, we have been talking about this quite a bit with right triangles, right? And so now we're taking it to the next level and it could be any triangle. So typically they're not right triangles using the laws of sines and cosines, but obviously uh, you could use them as well. And so to set this up, I think the best thing to do is to kind of show you the formula. And again, uh, I won't uh, prove this for you, but here is the laws of sines where the idea of capital A, capital B, capital C are the angles of the triangle and little a, little b, and little c are the length of each one of those sides. So let me show you up here on the whiteboard the definition and how to get this set up. So let's just pick this guy right here. And uh, when, if we do angle A here, the opposite side is always that little a. So you see the opposite is over there. So if we define this as b, the opposite side is the length of little b. And then the top angle here is c. And so that opposite side is little c. So when you set this up, you would have sine of a over a equals sine of b over little b and sine of c over little c. Let me move this up a little bit more. There we go. So um, the first one is the idea of getting two angles and one side. And so they usually call that angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle, whatever. Uh, but the idea is you're given two angles and one side. And the process to work is first calculate the third angle. First you calculate the third angle. And you use the 180 degree rule, right? Where all the angles a plus B plus C, ah, whoops, have to equal 180 degrees. And then at two, use the law of signs. Find the other two, the other, well, probably the better one to say is the length of the other two sides. two sides. So I think this one out of the uh, options are probably the most uh, straightforward. And so anytime you have two angles on one side, uh, you use the law of signs. And you'll see that you're going to be given three of the six parameters to calculate, and you have to calculate the other three. So you know what? Let's just plow through one. So, okay, so here's first example. 
And that example would be, let's put it in red. So say like you're given B is uh, 28 feet. And say like you're given angle B is 29 degrees and angle C is 102 degrees. So the question is find all the other items that are uh, given to you. So find angle A and then find length C and length A of the triangle. So angle A, first one would be uh, 180 degrees minus 102 degrees, not 120, 102 degrees, right? minus 29 degrees. So if you get out your calculator there, you get angle A is 49 degrees. So then the strategy is you have this equation up there, right? And so uh, you now we have all three angles, right? And I'll put in green what we just calculated. And so the idea is we know uh, B, right? And we have angle B. So this is the one that we have. And so the ones that we don't have is A and C. So typically what you would do is set it up where, for example, we would have sine of B over little b equals, say, sine of A over little a. And so when you plug all the numbers in, you'll have, you see, you have sine of 29 degrees, right? And then you know what B is. That's 28 feet. And then now we know what sine of A is, that's 49 degrees. And you know, uh, no, we don't. That's what we're trying to calculate is little a. So what do we do when we uh, manipulate uh, these values, right? So uh, we could do some algebra here and you would see A equals um, sine of 49 times 28, all divided by sine of 29 degrees. So here you definitely need a calculator. And again, my iPad or iPhone calculator has all these and you plug all these numbers in and uh, what I ended up with was 43.59 feet. So this A value here is say 43.6 feet as we round to the nearest tenth. Make sure you put your uh, units in here too. That's really important. Okay, so now what we're down with, right? We're down with, we still have a uh, little c to find, right? So now you have a bunch uh, of options, but I usually just stick with the same one that we started with, all right? And so if we stick with this one, we would do say sine of b, over little b equals sine of c over little c. And so when you set that one up, it's, uh, that's the one we already had. So I just left that there. So what's uh, angle c is 102 degrees. And then we'd have little c. And again, if you did the algebra, if you bring c to the other side, flip this and go over. And so this would be sine of 102 times the 28, and then divided by sine of 29. And so again, calculator is super important in this case. So in this case, we have 56.49 feet. So if we round to the nearest tenth, that would be 56.5 feet. And there you go. Uh, hopefully not too crazy uh, with regard to that. Uh, so process is if you have two angles and one side, find the third angle and then uh, use the law of sines to find the missing two uh, sides that, that you have. So uh, that will end the first of a few of these recorded lectures for uh, laws of signs uh, from section 3.5.